Welcome back! Another campaign challenge, another day. And as you can see, we are in Jean. I shall avenge thee. You bet it does. Alright guys, here's the challenge. We are going to beat this scenario with our starting army. Yeah. I don't know, this one just popped in my head and thought it would be a good challenge. So yeah, we're never going to build a town center. Now, for the strategery I have in mind... Um, I am going to allow myself to do one little thing. We'll see how English Mongols fare against French Canon. I won't make any real military units, and I won't, um, make a town center. But I will allow myself to build a few things. Perhaps we should defeat the Burgundians and establish our base in their own Oh, this is just like, this is just babying you through the campaign, man. But yeah, you're given a pretty powerful post-Imperial Age army. Pretty powerful post... Now that's a, that's a lot of alliteration. Alright. So the goal is gonna be... Um, to take out the Burgundians. Just because you can't really get around them very easily. Oh, nope, nope, nope. Then we're gonna go to Shrewsbury. And then we're going to destroy Shrewsbury. And then we're gonna build a dock and build a transport ship and ferry our troops over and try and sneak in to Castillon on the side. I thought that would be a pretty good challenge. Anyway, we can have our good old fully upgraded Frank Arbalests. Oh, rip. <laughs> Dash, very excited about something as usual. Alrighty. But yeah, I mean, you're given a really good starting army, but it's still pretty tricky. Not today. Onward and upward. I don't know if the English really make any units before you get a town. So I don't know if we have to be super fast or anything, but, you know, better safe than sorry. But yeah, we're going to need to probably build some houses, too. Um, but yeah, obviously, need to get some transports. Whoops. And hopefully the English don't just, like, send their entire freaking army at us. That would be kind of bad. Come on, guys. Oh, yes, I, I guess I should bring a Jean Bureau. Even though know, he's a really crappy Bombard Cannon. Compared to a regular Bombard Cannon, he has less HP, less armor, less range, and the same attack. Like, usually heroes are supposed to be better versions of a standard unit, you know? Anywho. I believe we get the... Oh, no, we have to think we have to destroy the town center, maybe? Yeah, it's probably the town center. 
You know it. Okay, so I got plenty of wood. All right, that's all good. On to Shrewsbury. Also, we're going to build some houses. Because we're still way over pop cap. And the reason we're going to Shrewsbury and not just transporting across over here is, one, we want to be as far away from the English as possible, or at least the main uh, bit of the English army. Uh, and two, there is to do that, there's a little cliff over here. I don't remember Shrewsbury adding an extra TCs, but almost all of my memories of doing this scenario are in AOC or HD. So what do I remember? Anyway, the big thing we're going to be relying on is the classic Frank units of fully upgraded arbalests and some hand cannons too, I guess. But Franks actually have those. <laughs> I, uh, what, how this, uh, came to mind is I actually tried this as a kid, and I think I got it to work a couple times, but I've never done it in DE. Okay, that's plenty of, uh, resources. I guess repair our trebuchet. We're not really going to get any replacement. Take out the stables. Take out the castle over here. There we are. Go for the town center. Make sure we got the cart. Le carte du flag, as they say in France. That's that's not actually French, by the way. Oh, whoops. Might have lost a unit to the castle. My bad. Let's see if maybe we can get careening just to make our lives a little bit easier. Alright. So first things first, gonna get the arbs over. Oh, we can even afford a second transport. There is a castle somewhere over here, so you have to be careful. Okay, Kreening's now done. There goes Shrewsbury. Okay, we've got the arbs. Let's bring over our siege units. And Jean Bureau, I guess. 
Now, the uh, infamous English longbowmen are still going to be a, a nightmare to deal with. But hopefully we have just enough units to do that. Okay, first let's use the Bombard Cannons to take... Oh, and the Trebuchet to take down that tower over there. Uh, Britons do not start in post-Imperial Age. They only start in, you know, regular Imperial Age. So they still have to get their imp upgrades. Gonna put everyone on defensive stance just to be safe. Ooh. No, 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 no. Oh, damn it! <laughs> anyway, I think he doesn't kill me in one more rock. I think he needs uh, two more. And he missed anyway. But we'll still bring the villagers over to repair. Still have a few more resources. Anyway, now onto the castle. And I guess we can bring Jean Bureau along. I suppose... Yeah, they don't even have uh, hoardings or architecture yet, so that's pretty sick. I suppose this would be how you speedrun the mission, too. Although I'm not quite at that level just yet. Right, moving closer and closer. I wonder if the British AI doesn't activate yet. Because, you know, they're not sending their whole army at me, which, I mean, I'm not complaining about, but... A little bit surprised. Alright, just need you guys to punch a hole... Wait, what? Did these these guys lost siege engineers? Wait, what? How on earth would did they lose siege engineers? Oh, <laughs> the, the Burgundians are attacking. Anywho, Let's just get our uh, support s escort squad going. Oh, damn it. Oh, we got this. Easy. No. All right, good thing. That screw-up never happened. Right. Right. Oh, Bombard Tower is benefiting from arrow slits. The more you know. Or no, no, it's not Aerosplits, it's Yeoman. That makes way more sense. It's a lot of scorpions. Okay, now with less being gigantic, almost comical screw-ups, Yeah, there we go. We did it with only one little embarrassing flub. But yeah, there are the cliffs here. 
where we need to uh, build the dock behind so we can approach at it from this side. Like I said, I did this way, way back in the day when I was a little kid uh, because I didn't want to build a base. I just wanted to win with my starting army. Uh, but yeah, it is possible to do in DE, and I thought it'd be a good challenge, and here it is. Pretty nice KD, too. Ooh, that was a big oof on Burgundy, though. Well, guys, definitely a little bit of a quick one, but I thought it'd be fun. Uh, anyway, that is a perfect martyr with no additional military units or villagers. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.